Hello there puzzle friends again, we're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles and as you may tell, today we have a big box which as usual we will open it with you to get the excitement with you but because there is a lot in here, let's start right away without any introductions so I did buy this one, this one is, you could say, this is more of a child's puzzle. I've never actually tried the brand. It's somewhat, it's more cardboardy, let's say. I thought it would be more, more wood. And again, it's a jigsaw puzzle that depicts Bayern, also Bavaria. Uh, since I live in Bayern, I thought it would be interesting to say, to have. And they don't have actually the place where I live, but they, they have the city which is supposed to be the main city near to where i live i, th I really like the artwork so this um, castles and so on this is also the very famous neunschwanstein castle neunschwanstein castle which in, is in many pictures here is munich also they have a, a beer mug probably because of the oktoberfest Regensburg is a very famous stadt, a very famous city, a very beautiful city to visit and more to the north is also Nuremberg, the, the second biggest city in Bavaria and here we also have Salzburg, which is not in Bavaria, it's in Austria, but it's also a very famous city and it's also, since it's on the borders, they also have something to do with Bavaria. So let's go further. Here we have a jigsaw puzzle from Treffel, uh, a brand from also from Europe. I did and did really like this picture. It, it did remind me of uh, a visit I had in Prague some years ago. I don't know if they state where this is. They only say Castle and Island. I may do some research to find where actually this is. Castle on Island. Yeah, when they say Castle on Island, it may be in the north of um, Germany. It does exist a place there. I have to check if this one is it. An interesting puzzle, 1000 pieces. Uh, this one is somewhat similar. Uh, it's a church, which I find quite interesting. That's actually in uh, South America. I don't know if there, ex there exist many churches like this, but to my knowledge, I don't think it's something of the ordinary. Um, Las Lajas in Colombia. So I said, well, we'll try this. I also like the gorge. They will probably also probably have a very beautiful view there. And let's carry on. And I did make a decision that I have to buy one gradient puzzle. Well, there are a lot of gradient puzzles out there if you see them on the media, on YouTube and so on. I personally did have one. I, I now have two. Uh, one is with the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle and this one is this one, which is somewhat different as a simple color gradient puzzle. That's why I actually choose it. We have all the trefler here, I see. Ah, this one. I really like this one. This one is called Seaside Tram, as we see. Uh, they state I have less plastic. We've got an interesting info there. The boxes are somewhat similar, smaller from the... This one is somewhat opened. I have to see if it's actually sealed. Uh, this one... They do have they, were, they do have less plastic, they also have a poster. But it's actually somewhat open. They have to ask them what was wrong there. Either way, uh, that's not for this video. This is a, a, a picture that I like. And it's called Seaside Tram by Trevor Mitchell. It reminds me of the stories I have read 
about the trams or the trains that are coming to the around Munich, let's say. So let's put this aside and let's go. Let's carry on. Ah, this one uh, also reminded me somewhat of the 90s and the um, games that we used to play in the 90s. It's a train, I really like trains and train themed puzzles. I do believe this would be somewhere on the, on the easier side when I puzzle this. The Sun the brand, they do have so strange boxes. The brand from the USA. And I see I have yet another Sun's Out puzzle. Ah, this one, yes. Uh, this one I found quite interesting because it was... Um, uh, how can I say? It was um, Halloween themed. I don't have many Halloween themed puzzles. I did also make one of them. But it was very... Um, actually, it was very, very funny it's where it was to, to make it. It was quite fun. And yet we have a big one, a heavy one. This is a new one from uh, Ravensburger. It's called Cinderella. I did like the artwork of it. A lot of stuff happening here. I expect it to be very funny to puzzle it. Very funny. The, the term actually sounds somewhat um, weird. Not very funny in times and then we, we had a laugh. Very interesting. Very much fun to puzzle it. We have here some birds, a cat. Um, here are the sisters, I guess. And here is Cinderella, which is showing somewhat of a dress. And this is the carriage where he took her and the castle. And here is the shoe. I was looking for the shoe. Here is the shoe that he lost. As she lost as he went away. A 2000 piece, so it would take some more time to make. Uh, this is a smaller one, 500, an ancient warmth it's called. Uh, it's an interesting picture from a, a mama duck with her small babies and a, a child who is giving them something to eat. This is our um, tranquility picture, should I say. I would like to call them tranquility pictures. Uh, another one, 500. I did buy some 500s here. Most of the time I buy 1000s. But the most important criteria for me to buy something is that I like the picture. The number of the pieces are not so much of a problem. Uh, yes, a, a small fogel. Fogel, a small bird. Which I actually, I think it's called blackbird in English. Uh, here is another bird. I don't know the name in English. Uh, this is also from the raven family. I'm not also sure how it's called in English. But it's also in, um, from the raven's family. They also have some, ah, here they say this, the names. Long tailed tit. I don't believe this is not that's not the one. Well you, you may if you know it, write it on the comments. Uh some geese there flying around, an otter. So this is a picture of uh, Autumn. Autumn Hensero, it's also named. I thought it was very very interesting, so I bought it. Falcon the Looks is also a very quality brand from the England. From the UK, I don't know if they are from England. Uh, this also is a 500 pieces from Treffel. This actually is a lake which is on the Iser River. The Iser River is the river that goes through Munich. This is farther to the uh, south, but more in the Alps, where they also have made a small dam there. So I said, uh, again, the neighborhood, I can puzzle the neighborhood. 500 pieces. Uh, let's see, do we have any one of these that are uh, for them? I, we don't have any one of them. The 
casserole puzzle, they do have many puzzles. A very, you can choose a lot of them. Let's go to a graphical one. This is uh, a map which I found somewhat interesting. I also did read somewhat about the history of this map, but I don't really remember it to tell you now. Uh, it was the only map at the time it was gone. Something like this, I don't remember exactly. But I am not, I'm also a collector of uh, maps in jigsaw puzzles. And this was not in my collection until now. Now it is. Uh, so it's somewhat of a circle. An interesting one to make. I'm kind of... This one is also 500. Again, a train puzzle. I, I really like the steam trains puzzles. And this is also the landscape. A 500 pieces. Also, this will be a, an evening, let's say. Three to four hours or something like this. And a bigger one. This this would be more much more difficult than the other one because the train is uh, a smaller part of the picture. The trees would not be so easy. I will probably start with the sne with the snow here, although it sounds somewhat wrong. Let's say uh, one thousand pieces steam train. A very interesting one too. And uh, now we go to some flowers. Sunflowers in a peacock vase, that's also the title. I really like the yellow color of these uh, fl sunflowers, so I said let's go for it and let's buy a flower puzzle. I don't believe I have a, a, a vase puzzle yet. Well, now I do. Ah, this one, actually the box looks quite interesting because it looks somewhat different than what they use in love in spooky boxes. It's a dark one. It's a dark box. Well, this one is uh, the regular one, but uh, on front it's a dark Canadian collection. Okay, it's different, and they also have the maple leaf from the, which also on the flag of Canada. Uh, this one was called Three Sisters, I believe. Alberta's Three Sisters. Uh, which I found quite an interesting as a name, and uh, I also I always like to think uh, stories like if these mountains, as the three sisters, if they could speak, what would they say to each another? And I found this as idea interesting. I may also do something like this uh, in a video, and I did buy it, and I actually quite happy with it. I really like it. I do believe this is uh, yeah, this is more of a painting and not of a photograph, but it's also a very nice uh, realization, let's say, from the place. And we have another graphical one. Uh, this one is. Um, from uh, winter, from Christmas. The interesting about the graphica is that they do have these uh, jigsaw puzzles, this picture, for, uh, for example, I would better buy it in 1000 pieces because they have 500, 1000, 1500. This time they also had this on the shop, all the others are, were already went away. So I did buy it, 1,500 pieces also, not so wrong, let's say. I will find it, I find interesting the, the floor, which is some details that they could not see on the shop as I buy, bought it, because of the picture, yeah, it may be in a good quality, but it's not so big as here. And this is a, a jigsaw puzzle that I had in mind to buy some time now. Well, now it's not Christmas, but Either way. Ah, this one is also, I believe, a new. They also stayed here in uh, 2021. It's also a new one. Uh, I, do, I do believe it will be somewhat on the easier side because of the way the animals are depicted. They also have the names, which I find very interesting. 
and when you have uh, jigsaw puzzles with uh, text on it, uh, most of the time they are easier because you know this uh, which way is side up or side down. You can find the names. Well, you get the, you see what I mean. Although these uh, these names are, I guess it will, they will not be that much of a help. But then again, I do still believe it will be on the easy side. And this one is called Wild Animals. Wild, you wild animal. I don't know why they put this you in there. And we have three more, I believe. Yes, three more. This one is quite heavy. Now, this one is a star uh, from Star. Star Gain Sets. I do not know the brand yet, but they do look quite heavy. I do believe they are, will be also from, the, from Turkey. This one is called Telus Istanbul. I did really find it interesting, this one. Uh, the artwork and the, so many buildings and stuff. I do believe this is Hagia Sophia. And some, uh, I don't know if they are minerals or something like this. Uh, and this is the Bosporus, probably. So I did find this very interesting. 2,000 pieces, quite heavy, as I already said. The typical dimensions of the 2,000 pieces. And they also have uh, made the hashtag. Start, start, tell us, Istanbul. They have a hashtag there. And the other ones are also from Star Palm. Yeah. A 500 piece. Uh, this is on um, Enchantment and Valata. I really like the way it's depicted. It reminds me of an art I have seen. Someone who was drawing with uh, sand on uh, transparent glass. I don't know if that's the case on this one, but it did remind me of that. It may be. And I was quite amazed with that video that I tell you, which I also believe was from the, from Turkey. And the last one is also from Star Puzzles, uh, which I find somewhat interesting. It's called Men Against Woman. And I did read about some of the info there. Uh, yeah, they, they stated here that this is um, this was a, a war, a battle, so to say, uh, for a man against a woman, and it's something that actually did take place some days before the eruption of Pompeii. The eruption of Pompeii, before the eruption of the volcano that destroyed Pompeii. So I do find that you could also learn some history when you do this kind of puzzles. Uh, jigsaw puzzles in education, that's why actually they were ever invented, uh, to teach the children in a, in a playful way, geography, which was way ahead of the time. Uh, that were the jigsaw puzzles for today. So as you can see, we have here two big uh, staples, let's say, and this one. But that was the jigsaw puzzle for me for today. You may have some one of them, you may not. You may have heard the brands that were somewhat different. So feel free to tell me in the comments if you like them, if you ever would ever buy such puzzles, or if you have already puzzled any one of them. Uh, that was it for me from today. Thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling. Stay safe and until next time. Goodbye.